Tyson the Subaru Specials from Subaru Prince George here and today we're taking a look at the 2025 Subaru Forester Touring in the Magnetite Gray Metallic. Touring is our mid trim level, one step up from the entry level convenience. It's powered by a 2.5 liter four cylinder boxer engine producing 180 horsepower. You get a good balance of power and efficiency in a vehicle of this size. We have 8.7 inches of minimum ground clearance and of course Subaru's full time legendary symmetrical all wheel drive. This is the first trim level in the Forester lineup where you get the backup sensors integrated into the rear bumper and they will actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're going to hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. We have a proximity kick tailgate and a ton of room behind the second row seats in the Forester. Big boxy square rear end equals a ton of storage. We've got a nice topographical map on our cargo tray that does have a little bit of a lip on it to help contain any liquids or spills. We've got a nice privacy cover that hides everything from the top of the seats down. And this is removable in the event that this is going to impact your storage and it tucks underneath our false floor here. We've got some additional storage and underneath the false floor and the styrofoam, we have our spare tire and tools inside the vehicle. On either side, we do have grocery bag hooks and we have a 12 volt power point for any charging needs. Now to close it, we can do the kick motion or we can do it from the door, the driver's seat or the key fob. All of the Foresters have roof rails. Touring has integrated tie downs front and rear, makes it easy to secure cargo if you're putting anything on the roof. We do have a panoramic sliding sunroof and with the tall roof line, you get a lot of passenger room. Great headroom, great legroom for passengers. You can fit three people comfortably across. And we have the light and dark gray two-tone cloth upholstery with a blue contrast stitching. There is a fold-down armrest with integrated cup holders. We have two USB ports to keep everyone connected on longer trips and vents out of the center console in addition to underneath each front seat facing rearward. Matte back pockets, three on each rear seat. And the rear door card is soft touch in addition to a soft touch armrest. So a little bit of storage along with a bottle holder and you have easy access to the child locks if you need it. It is a proximity key. So long as the key's on your person within 46 inches, simply touch the lines and it locks the door. Wait a second, back up, walk forward again. And again, so long as the key's within 46 inches, hand in the handle and it unlocks. Front door card does look very similar to that of the rear in regards to the soft touch materials. Front two windows are auto power windows on the Touring, regular power windows for the second row, and we do have window lock if you need that. We have our power mirror adjustment and a little bit more storage along with the bottle holder there. Touring is the first trim level where you get power driver's seat, including lumbar support. And the seating material is the same up front as it is in the second row. The seats are definitely a little different, more supportive. They are designed for long distance driving, so you end up being less fatigued at the end of the day. Inside the Touring Forester, we have our leather wrapped steering wheel, with our Bluetooth and audio controls on the left-hand side, you can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and music, access Google Assistant or Siri. And on the right-hand side, we have our adaptive cruise and lane centering. Both of those use these three black boxes, those color stereo eyesight cameras, to look for cyclists, road lines, pedestrians, and other vehicles. In addition to the adaptive cruise and lane centering, these cameras do automatic emergency braking, which saves you 10% on your basic insurance here in BC. Bottom right, we have our heated steering wheel with the leather wrapped steering wheel, absolutely fantastic. We have paddle shifters, so we can manually select our own gears, even with the automatic CVT. And the Touring is the first trim level where we get the 11.6 inch touchscreen. And they've kind of broken it into three portions. Top portion, we have different pieces of information depending what you want to look at. It's also where we access X mode, which is like four low in a pickup for the rough stuff. Main portion of the screen, we have radio, media, and phone, which are pretty self-explanatory. Under apps, we have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and you gain access to the My Subaru app after the vehicle's registered in your name. When you put the Forester in reverse, backup camera pops up, rear assist braking's on, parking sensors are on, you can see the top of the bumper there, so you have something to relate to, and you can clean the backup camera from inside the vehicle, which is great for our sloppy winters or if you do a lot of gravel, dirt road driving. Bottom portion, we have our physical temperature buttons on either side. It is dual zone, or you can click on the screen and you can make adjustments on the screen. You can slide, you can use the physical buttons on that. You can sync it back to driver control. You can control where the airflow is being directed. Very, very easy to do that. We have our fan strength buttons, which are hard to miss. And then we have three stages of heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. Below that, we have two USBs and an auxiliary, along with a wireless charger. They've redone the center console, soft touch materials on the center console. So if you're leaning your leg against it, it's not gonna be hurting. 
We've got our automatic CVT with the manual mode that I'd mentioned previously. And then we have our emergency brake, our park brake, our offset cup holders, and our 12 volt power point for charging. Up top, auto dimming rear view mirror. So no switch to flick if someone's got their brights on behind me, just automatically dims. And we can also hook up to three separate garage doors to the home link system in the mirror. That is a quick look at the 2025 Subaru Forester Touring in the Magnetite Gray Metallic Stock number 25FR3076. You can find that down here at the corner of First and Victoria, Subaru of Prince George.